Hey everyone, this is GOL from Left Hand Production Squared, and welcome back to our Final Fantasy VII Let's Play walkthrough. So, last time we did some recording, I was trying to capture some good chocobo, and I got one so far. We need to get a second one. Let's go ahead and do that right now. We have to find two Spencers with the chocobo. That's so how we know the one that's a uh, one that's a good one. I'll also want to go up and get a couple more. Well, yeah, I have to because you can't use carob nuts or any kind of nuts in uh, battle. Oh, cool, Phoenix leveled up. How the hell? How did I level up Phoenix on 60 AP a battle? About. It's kind of crazy and scary at the same time. But um. Because you can't duplicate them with W item, they're not usable in battle, so I'll go get some more carob nuts. <sighs> now I have a burning desire to just go over to the crater and fight a couple of battles. Just to level up this truck material. materia. Truck lure material. Let's go do that, as a matter of fact. It's just gonna take way too long. Otherwise, um... So, Chocobolure, 5.30, see I'll get that in like one battle. Alright, off to the Northern Crater. Let's get the minimap back up here. There we go. Um, I think I mentioned it before, but you can go as far as you want to in the crater and then come back out. Um, there will be a point at which you'll be asked if you want to continue. And if you say yes there, then you won't be able to come back out. That's uh, the point of no return, but short of that, you can do whatever you want to. And to just get in the crater, all you have to do is just land in the center of it. So I'm not going to be trying to get all the stuff, because all we're looking for now is battles. Um, or maybe some, yeah, we'll just... Well, I thought you could get back out. I know you can get back out. Let's see. Check the guide. Before we continue. So... Uh, confrontation, don't need that. Forced weapon Hojo Boss This is all about the battle arena. Hmm. So I guess once you go into the crater, you can't come back out. It's kind of cheap, because then at that point, there's no way to... That sucks. Okay, so we're going to say, uh, no. I thought you'd come back out of there, but I guess not. Um, let's see.
Well, okay, let's do this. I'm gonna save real quick. Well, I saved out there, so if I can. According to the the website, the Game Facts Guide, you can leave it at any time. According to the Brady Guide, you can't leave it at any time. So let's find out which is right. Let me see um, how to exit and then I'll start recording again. Or we'll restart and I'll record from back where we were earlier. Okay, so you can exit by climbing, going in here and climbing up. Ah, okay, yeah. <laughs> uh, but you gotta be careful with that, apparently. Alright, so, important thing here. Almost every enemy in this place can use some, some form of death. Or instant death. They can kill you instantly, so you probably should equip somebody with a, uh... uh roll, I don't know if we'll be that, with the uh, safety belt, if you have it. And you should. <clears throat> you can also use death force for some of those types of death. Um, let's see if I can get into battle. Somewhere around here you'll find a save crystal. And that's a particularly special item. Uh, great gargoyles. These guys will remain encased in stone and you can't do damage to them until they um, become unstone. But once they become unstoned, they can you know, instantly kill you. So you gotta be aware of, aware of that. But like I said, almost everything in here gives you a ton of experience and AP. And if you come in here with your um, level four death. Nope. Although Barrett might have been. <clears throat> well, that's great. See, these guys use level four death when they when they die. That's no good. First, gonna kill K Kite Sith here because it's being a pain in the ass. Um, I don't think that. Yeah, I did kill it. Damn, Kite Sith didn't get any of the rewards this time. So we get 160 AP. It's nothing awesomely awesome, but. The deeper we go, the better the, the enemies will get. Um, let's go ahead and revive Kite Sith here. Some Mega Elixir. So we've got tons of them, and we can make them as many as we want to. So that's Save Crystal there. Um, you can drop it wherever you want to, and it'll create a save point, but you can only use it once, and you only get one of them. Otherwise, there are no save points in this place at all. So you have to be careful where you're dropping it. Oh jeez, this guy. Dark Dragon. Actually, it might be good to steal from him. I think he might have an interesting item. Ouch. Thousand damage from a single physical attack. Half of Barrett's frickin' health. Yeah, so he has something to steal. I still not able to steal it. This guy's too dangerous right now. I gotta get rid of him. Okay, cool. Barrett did it. So let's see what we got from this guy. Not bad, 600. So we'll get Trick to level up. Barrett level up. So now, let's have a look at... So... To be honest, I don't even know if ranking up, leveling up materia has any effect in terms of the effectiveness of it. <laughs> Seriously. Um, I mean, it might, I guess, well, maybe this does. I think it does in this case. You start out with 10%. You get on 10% every rank, every level you get on these. 
So I'm not sure if that you know works the same on the, on these. A lot of these, like this one, you know, you gain four cut after you get you know ranked up a certain amount. Um, on this, uh, for example, I don't know if ranking it up increases the attack of it, you know, the damage it does, or what. Um, that's something I guess I could look up. Really, you should probably just Mega Elixir after every battle in this place. Single gargoyle. I wonder if I could use soft. Do I have a soft? Oh, of course not. Why would I have one? What about a. Oh, we just attack it now. So I'm gonna try to get everything, so I'm just going through looking for battles right now. Um see a near Bahama? No. Um I'm gonna see if we can steal. Nothing too steal. Well to be honest, you can't really use someone because unless they're both, yeah, now we can, but couldn't be before. Yeah, since you want to overkill these guys, you don't want to leave them with just a little bit of health left, because then they'll use the suicide level 4. Well, it doesn't really have any effect right now. <clears throat> it might on your characters, depending on the levels. All leveled up for- oh, sweet, lots of stuff. Holy hell. <laughs> lots of material leveling up. Wow, so all restore- HP and MP plus. Yeah, so 40% now on those. Cool. And restore. Alright. Was it restore or was it revive? Maybe it's full care. Something leveled up. Nobody has restore, so it must have been revive. Actually, no. Uh, Cloud does have restore. Um, what did- what ranked up on him, though? Some ranked up on him. It might have been full care, but, but- I don't know, maybe not. I don't think it was full care, it was something else. Sense, maybe, maybe Titan. I don't know, something did, though. Titan will- I think Titan's gonna ma Titan's gonna max out here while we're looking for battles. So, we got an elixir. Actually, we can go up here and- hey, there's a materia there. HP absorb material. What are these guys? Parasite. That reminds me of a Lucky Young Air Force episode where uh, Carl tries to lose weight by eating weight loss candy bars that have parasites in them. <clears throat> I 
These guys are surprisingly tough to beat. Got a lot of help on them. I think their attacks also cause... Um... Oh, damn. That's right, now everybody's gonna get knocked out, so... No AP for... Alright, it's all gonna be for kites up here. This is only the second time I've ever seen this before. First time being when it happened earlier. Both times on this playthrough, I've never seen this particular slot ability from uh, Kite's Just Limit Break. It's kind of cheap that he essentially makes him the only participant in the battle. So he gets everything. I have all that way just for this. But it's a magic source, which is pretty much use, you know, useless if you will. When you can you know, just morph as many as you want in the crushed Galnaka. Oh, we're low on health here. Um, let's see. Next one that gets it needs to use White Wind. We'll have Cloud summon. Oh, he has his Phoenix. So we'll have Kites to summon on Zero. Probably overkill for these guys, but whatever. And then the very unlikely chance that they don't get killed from this. <clears throat> but make sure we heal too. it away. Two hundred AP. Really, he actually has seven on. Let's see, I think I have hyper. Fix that. <clears throat> hyper is essentially like an ADHD drug or something, I guess. One that causes D uh, ADHD. Or ADD, or whatever I'm calling. So I want to see if we can steal what this guy has. I want to cast Big Bird. Defend. So I want to keep trying to steal until I steal whatever it is he has. I think he might also use flamethrower. Dragon. Okay, say so yeah, dragon. I thought so. Should be toy box. <laughs> yeah. If you don't have any mat, if it's not a match on a one all three, it'll be a toy box kind of thing, which is like a random attack, I think. Random. I'm not sure if it's just random attack period or random magic based attack.
Nice. What the hell? What's the fight set? This is like going crazy. What's the uh, level of these guys? Let's see a level four suicide. Ah, just above it. Let's see how they like magic breath. Yeah, they don't like you, like you. So depending on which side you go, there's different things you can find. Um, you'll have to go down both paths to find everything. Guard source. Actually, yeah, it's just it all goes down to here. So much for him. Um, I've got a new Phoenix. I think I've used it before. Now is as good a time as any. The red kite, red kite, sit there. It also has a full, um, uh, you know, full revive, not just like a partial revive like uh, Phoenix Down does. It's basically a full heal slash Phoenix Down slash attack with her steel leveled up, steel is born. Kites have leveled up. Another mine source. I like to do uh, sadness, don't they? Oh, 
Ah, Cloud, let Cloud does a limit break. Should I ominous slash him or no? I don't think I will. It's a little overkill for these guys. Save it for the next time we're gonna do a dragon. You just one hit that sucker. Slices up all opponents. <laughs> what was that description? Ominous slash slices up all opponents. Into little bitty chunks. that Cloud does the most damage because he has double cut. So attacking with just Baird and Kite Sith is gonna get annoying. Um just trying to give them more damage here. exactly what that does. I think it might break your materia or cast silence or something. I don't think it has a very high success rate though. Finally, jeez. So you can jump. Hero drink. Let's see what we got. <clears throat> Ooh, what are these guys? What are they? They're dead, that's what they are. Cross scissors. It's actually Fred Red and I thought they would. I thought for certain they both oh they did to get both killed, never mind. Never mind. Not too bad, 180. Uh Mega Lexer and Hyper. Of course a Roy did Barrett's everybody's worst nightmare. Guard source. There's a lot of sources in this place. And one of these guys. After I use my awesome limit break on the other guys. Figures. think that Dark Dragon Breath would be a limit break, but it's not a material level up. Okay. So how are we doing with the levels and such? <laughs> 